Greetings from STL fellow ocarina enthusiasts. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the expansive and enchanting world of ocarinas, answering some of the most frequently asked questions regarding this wonderful little instrument. Question 1. Are ocarinas real? To those of you familiar with real life ocarinas, this might seem like a silly question. Others of you, particularly some Legend of Zelda enthusiasts out there, may have lived their entire lives only ever seeing an ocarina on their TV screens in 64-bit, wondering this very question. It is, after all, one of the most popular ocarina-related Google searches. And, of course, the answer is yes, ocarinas are very much real. And the beauty of this instrument is that because of its versatile design, they can be created in all sorts of shapes and sizes with all sorts of different materials. And that is exactly what we at STL Ocarina have stocked our online store with for nearly 20 years. Real ocarinas for real people like you. Question two, are ocarinas hard to play? The short answer, no. In fact, ocarinas are one of the most beginner-friendly instruments out there, giving new players an easy entry point into the world of music and the opportunity to practice and to improve at their own pace. And we offer plenty of learning materials at stlocarina.com for you to do just that. Ocarinas are also incredibly portable, so not only are they easy to play, but they're easy to play whenever and wherever you want. Question three, where does the ocarina come from? Well, the family tree of this instrument and wind instruments like it reaches back over 10,000 years into the past. The ocarina as we know it can be traced back to more recent Central American civilizations like the Aztecs and Mayans. In fact, ancient civilizations like these would often use ocarinas and instruments like them as a form of medicine, believing that their music had such an effect on the mind and spirit as to induce healing of the body. Ah, oh, the power of music. Question four, how do you pronounce ocarina? Ocarina? This question can be tricky because us English speakers all over the world have different ways of pronouncing different words with different accents. And it's not necessarily right or wrong. While a linguist or a historian might insist on the Italian pronunciation of the originally Italian word ocarina, it's not unusual to encounter an alternate pronunciation of ocarina in other languages or dialects. At the end of the day, we care the most about the sound the instrument makes and less about the sound that your mouth makes to identify it. Question five, how does the ocarina work? Funny you should ask. As it turns out, we've broken this question down in a previous video that you can find here. Check it out for a deep dive into the inner workings of the ocarina. Question six, how do you play the ocarina? I have an idea. Hop on over to our website, stlocarina.com, where we've got a treasure trove of free learning resources to get you started on your ocarina journey today. And you can subscribe to this channel so you have a front row seat to the new instructional videos that we'll be whipping up in the future. Have any other burning ocarina questions that you want answered? Put them in the comments section below. We are all ears. Until next time, be well from STL.